Good afternoon. This is Woodcraft by Scott, otherwise known as Iggy. I thought I would experiment with my new phone holder for filming. And I was going to cut a dragon. This one is one of the more complex from the standpoint of usually the outline of the animals is very simple and the quickest part, but the dragon is uh, very curvy, if you will. So I just wanted to show the cutting of this one. I am back to my DeWalt for the time being. I received a new one as a warranty replacement for one that I had worn out, but all is going well. And I am actually going to unplug my shop back so that you don't have to hear that running. And away we go.
couple things I want to point out. I am actually trying to slow down in my cutting. I literally have worn out two DeWalt's. Uh, I don't blame the saw at all. I'm just way too aggressive. I cut all of my puzzles out of three quarter inch poplar. And after about eight or nine hundred puzzles, I have pretty much worn out either the bearings and or the sleeves. And that's what's happened twice. Uh, so I'm trying to be very careful now with my new saw, see if I can make it last a little bit longer. I know people that have cut these and have been using the same DeWalt for six years or more. The other thing I wanted to point out is these patterns are great, especially for beginners. Uh, because if you get off the line, which you'll see I did a couple of times, if you get off the line a little bit, uh, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to notice. Once the pattern is taken off and the completed puzzle is standing there in front of somebody, nobody is going to notice whether or not you missed a line by a fraction of an inch. Use these as practice. Um, also getting uh, questions about, you know, people trying to make tight corners or tight cuts. And all I can say is practice, practice, practice. Do not use pine for that practice. Uh, pine is like cutting soft butter and uh, it's not a good test. Use a hardwood if at all possible. Poplar I find is just right in between in hardness and is great for testing and playing around with. Uh, but the Dragon is one of the more complex. I've also been working uh, this morning on Dachshund. I even had a custom poodle that I have to make. Uh, another new one today I've never done is a deer. And then uh, one of my top sellers, a pelican. So what I do is I go through and cut the outlines of all the ones that I want to get done in the next couple of days and do that all at once and then I go back and cut them into the individual pieces. Uh, the Dragon is relatively new to me. I just started making it about a week ago and it's already very popular so I'm trying to stockpile these. Don't be afraid to modify the patterns slightly if they don't fit your needs. Um, poplar is very brittle and so what I do uh, especially down here in the feet is I may not put in all of these little detail cuts uh, because it creates weak spots. Another thing I don't like to do is to have small puzzle pieces and you'll see that Harvey drew this one with the tongue or flame being a separate piece. I don't do that. I do go ahead and make about 90% of the cut beginning here coming all the way but I stop just short of completing it. Uh, it still looks good. Nobody knows the difference. Again, they don't see the pattern so they don't know. I'm going to go ahead and continue to cut this. I'm going to go to my drill press real quick and make my interior cuts. Be right back. And while I switch out my blade, Go ahead and make a comment about the blade that I'm using. I used to use the same blade for the entire process, but recently just started using the Pegas Modified Geometry, using a number five for the outside cut that you just saw. And then I switch over after I've done all my outlines and I go back to my favorite blade, which is the Olsen Mach Speed number three. I like the uh, thinness and the cutting ability of the Olsen. Uh, everybody's got their preferences to blades. Uh, it's like a Ford versus Chevy argument, so I'm not going to get into that. Whatever you enjoy using, by all means, use it all you want. So I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, interior cuts for my letters, and then I will make the detail cuts. It's funny, you guys gave me grief last time I did a video for having my uh, little stop, my hold down. Well, I actually use that as a lever for lifting because I do so much uh, bottom feeding. But for you, I took it off. Hope you're happy.
right, that's it for all the interior cuts for the dragon. Now for the detail relief cuts. These go on for quite a while. And a reminder, I won't make all of these cuts in the feet. And as mentioned, I come up just a little bit short there on purpose. I don't like to have small pieces. That's it, so now all we have left are the individual pieces.
For those of you that might not be familiar with these patterns, uh, Harvey Byler is the artist, and he puts space, if you will, in between some of the letters. And you'll see this when I reassemble the puzzle, and it just allows the letters to stand out a little bit more and uh, look more separate. So that's what that relief cut was that I just did.